North of the Broad. I'm Robin Zimmerman, along with a very special guest. Her name is Deborah Martin. She is here to discuss the Heritage Symposium because she is on that subcommittee for Heritage Days. It will be happening in November, and the symposium, where it all began, will be on that Friday, the November the 8th, with some really amazing speakers. So nice to meet you, Deborah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it is so nice to be here. I appreciate the opportunity. So let's kind of begin at the beginning. So the Heritage Days, it's several days, um, uh, an event, of course, on St. Helena, Penn Center, but the symposium itself, it's in partnership with the Pat Conroy Literary Center, is from 9 that day, that, that Friday, to 3.30. So what, kind of give the, the uh, impetus for this, how it all began, how it all began to have how it all began symposium. Well, I'm very happy to share that information. Um, this is my second year chairing the subcommittee for the symposium. And this year, our theme, where it all began, focuses on the global impact of the Gullah culture mm. from Africa to present day Buford, South Carolina. Okay. So the presenters are all focusing on that historical and cultural impact. We start off with the global impact of um, the culture, and then we end up with um, present day Buford. Okay. With uh, our four presenters, we start off with uh, Dr. Louis Venters from mm -hmm. Francis Marion University. Okay who's a expert uh, in African in African American history. Mm -hmm. And then our second presenter is um, Michael B. Moore, who is the great, great grandson of the legendary um, Robert Smalls. Oh. And so he's going to talk about his um, great, great grandfather's impact being in the House of Representatives mm -hmm. and that impact on public education. Mm -hmm. And then our third uh, presenter is Dr. Valinda Little. Littlefield. Right. She's a history professor at USC, and she's going to talk about the South Carolina Reconstruction period mm -hmm. and the, the um, political landscape. Yes. And then um, Mr. Bradley... Terrence, who is the principal at Robert Smalls Elementary, is our fourth presenter, and his theme is thriving, building thriving communities. Right. So he, we're going to go from ancient Change times to today, to today, and what he's doing as principal in terms of cultural responsive teaching and, and, yeah, and building a community, okay. a school community. Now, how will the day unfold? Would this be a panel or would there be a speaker and then another speaker and then can you ask questions? So how is, what's the format? All right. Well, I'm very happy to say that we start off with this African um, drumming ensemble from St. Helena Elementary School because, you know, um, back during enslaved times and from Africa, the drum was, a, was the means of communicating. Mm -hmm. So we're going to call the gathering together by having these students from St. Helena Just love it. start yes. the drumming. And then we'll have um, Gary Sterling, who is the, he's a native uh, from South, um, from St. Helena Island. He's an international um, entertainer. And he, along with Louis Venters, who's not just a professor, but he's also a, a singer. singer. Right. So they're, they're <laughs> going to start us okay, off. Great. We, we, we will have four sessions. All right. This information is so valuable, so impactful, that we want all of our participants to hear all of the presenters. All right. Now, do you need to go and register for the event? Yes. We have uh -huh. about 30 seconds left. Okay. So we go on the website. Yes, we, we, have, we have a site on Eventbrite, and it's where it all began, Okay, uh, eventbrite.com. And I, I have to say that so grateful to the um, Pat Conroy Literary Center for partnering with us. Jonathan has been phenomenal in um, promoting and supporting 
So this is a wonderful opportunity to learn, to understand, and appreciate the Gullah Geechee culture in celebration of Heritage's 40th anniversary. Very good. And again, the symposium is on Friday, November the 8th. Thank you so much, Deborah, for Thank being with us. It'll be a wonderful event, and I know you've put a lot of work into it. And unfortunately, thank you for being with us. That's it for this edition of North of the Broad, and we'll see you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.